Okay, so I ordered a batch of the RSXR receivers, and this is my first time ever using a Tyrannus receiver, so I was really having to learn a lot at once. Here's how I initially had wired it up. I ran 5 volt to 5 volt, ground to ground, and then I ran S bus out to the S bus pad. And then I ran the smart port wire to TX6 on the Omnibus. It's important to note that both the pads on the flight controller and on the receiver are dual purpose, meaning for the flight controller you have to solder the little jumper to make it S an S-Bus port, and for the receiver, you have to make sure the blue light on the receiver is flashing. Um, if, it's, if it's not, if you don't see a blue light, it's actually in CPPM mode, and you need to hold the button down, the bind button, for like four or five seconds until the blue light comes on. That puts it in S-Bus mode versus CPPM. Once I got Betaflight configured and tested it, I realized it wasn't working. The telemetry wasn't coming through, and the Betaflight Lua scripts weren't loading any data. So I'm sitting here scratching my head and getting ticked off. I jumped on the RC Group's page for this flight controller and learned from a user TerraLift that the signals coming out of S-Port on the receiver are it is a bi-directional duplex protocol inverted signal. And the only UR on the Omnibus F4 that is set up to take an inverted signal is UR1, which was already in use for, with the S-Bus. So I basically had to find a way to make the S-Port an uninverted signal. And it was actually surprisingly easy. According to Josh Baldwin on the Betaflight Facebook group, the newest version of the RXSRs offer a pad to give you an uninverted S bus and S port signal. So that's how I wired it up. All right, if you look here, I've soldered uh, the yellow wire to the back of the uh, uh, RXSR, and there's two two little pads on the back. One says P and one says B with a little line over it. And you want to solder your smart port wire to the P, and that is the uninverted smart port. You can run that directly to, there you go, you can see the yellow wire runs down into, uh, that would be uh, TX6 of the Omnibus F4 Pro V3. You can see here I have smart port enabled on UART6. And then here I have serial based spectrum satellite and SBUS selected. And then the feature telemetry turned on as well. That all connected. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get this guy plugged in. Alright, we're going to turn on the radio. Welcome to OpenTX. But if I go into um, menu, <laughs> telemetry, you'll see I'm getting all this good stuff in here. I wasn't before until I hit discover new sensors, accelerometer, all that stuff. If I do stop discovery, now you can see all the things that I get picked up the current draw but if I exit out of this let's get out of that and I go to the PID screen you can see I've got PIDs here that is all happening uh, on the RSXR running into the Omnibus F4 Pro V3 hey guys I sincerely hope I saved you some time I get a lot of enjoyment out of figuring out these things and then trying to make it dead simple for anyone else facing the same problems. If you like these types of videos, please consider liking and subscribing so my content comes up more often to help others. Thanks for watching.